What's up, y'all? What's cracking, lacking? Y'all, the Crypto King is back. Give you guys another update on the crypto market. You know what I'm saying? Every day this year, 365, that's what I'm here to do. So I'm a little late, guys. I had to do a little work earlier, but I'm back now. Still not midnight yet, so still, you know, within a day. So happy Friday, y'all. What's up, y'all? Welcome. So what do I see in the crypto market right now? I just saw DXY just do another pump up, guys. Like I said, it's been on its way up. Look like it ain't fucking stopping, guys. So yes, it's bouncing back up. And like I said, you know what that means? For Bitcoin and crypto and us, yes, I see more downside, unfortunately. Yes, we had a nice little bounce not too long ago from like the news from Biden um, signing an executive order, possibly getting people a little bit more bullish. But um, yes, like you know, with that DXY popping the fuck off again, bouncing up again, I don't see that lasting too much longer, guys. That's just what I fucking see, okay, guys? So, you know what? Let's just not waste any time. Let's get right to the charts, you know what I'm saying? Let's just do it look at this all right this is just some news i'm saying oh yeah i was going to show you at the ripple news from ripple xrp if you guys like xrp if you weren't paying attention i just want to show you guys real quick ripple ceo if you weren't paying attention sec ripple sec lawsuit should be now big competition for xrp in ripple sec and lawsuit ripple vows to seek regulatory clarity for the cryptocurrency industry amid favorable development in the sec lawsuit in what could be described as a major win for the XRP community, Judge uh, and uh, Annalisa Torres has denied the Securities and Exchange Commission's request to restrain famous fintech company Ripple from filing a fair notice defense. According to recent court documents, Judge Torres noticed that the SEC had failed to meet the burden of providing, of pr proving the fine points of the case, especially the fact that the plaintiff could be prejudiced by the exclusion of Ripple's fair notice. Based on an affirmation's reasons, Judge Torres inclined to deny the SEC's request, saying the SEC's no motion is denied. The clerical court is directed to terminate the motion, EFC, or whatever the hell. Commenting on development, Stuart Al Alderoy, General Counsel Ripple, told Fox that the ruling, this ruling brings up an important question as to whether SEC ever informed the XRP community that the crypto offering would be prohibited under securities law adding we will continue to fight hard in defending this case so that the industry can get the needed clarity it deserves to move forward and thrive huge win for xrp respond to the latest order from the court community rebels general's council if you aren't paying attention you should be now okay it's basically the same shit okay so basically sec could be in trouble you know the court is basically not on their side and like you know they have some things that they have to you know prove but you know it <laughs> SEC is so corrupt, guys. I'm going to tell you guys, right now. they're so corrupt, man. They've been trying to take down XRP since the beginning, but they're trying to XRP. They're trying to take down XRP because they say security, but all crypto is. They just decide to attack XRP, just pick one of the top altcoins to attack them. So, you know, once they beat this, 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 this lawsuit case, which they will, it's just straight bullshit, you know? Um, you know, crypto will definitely bounce more. XRP will definitely bounce more. So that's definitely a good, you know, I think it's a great altcoin to hold. It's one of the altcoins that did not pop off this last year. This, not, this last previous bull run has happened this two years. It didn't do shit. So you know what? The next one that happens, it might be the one that fucking skyrockets, guys. Just just so you know, okay? And especially with this whole lawsuit bullshit, holding it down. It's almost like a slingshot. It's just been holding it, holding it, holding it down till finally, pachoo! I blast off, guys. Just saying, guys. Just saying. So pay attention to XRP. You know, okay, when things pop off again, that's one you want to keep your eyes on, guys. Just let you know, okay? Anyways, let's go right back to the shit. Let's go to the fucking charts, okay? Okay, DXY, what I was telling you guys. Look at this bitch. This bitch is on its way. Yep, look at that. 99, back to 99.1. Had a little correction right here, but then bounced right the fuck up. So, yeah, I see just more upside. Looks like it's going to keep climbing. Unfortunately, that's what I think I see with Bitcoin and anyway, crypto. And, uh, yeah, if it does that, well, then you guys know what's going to happen. Why don't I turn my flashlight on? That was ridiculous. Okay. Anyways, SPX stocks. Let's check out the stock market. Your stocks usually follow the XY and the stocks is going down on its way down like I expected. You know, I guess, I guess I expected more downside for stocks, which is happening right now on its way. So if stocks go down, most likely Bitcoin will correlate and follow it also. So pay attention to your stocks. It looks like it's going to go down a little bit more, honestly. So. Again, pay attention to stocks. Bitcoin now, that's what Bitcoin is doing. Okay, let's get right into it. Bitcoin had a nice bounce all the way up to about 42 right over here. 42 and a half, actually. And then it came all the way back down to about 38. So like I told you guys, it's kind of dancing between this purple symmetrical triangle over here. See this? So 
you know, once it pops out of the symmetrical triangle, what, depending on what it does, if it goes above it and comes back and tests it, then shit, that's bullish. You know, that's more upside of Bitcoin. However, if it comes back down and gets breaks below it, which is about 38K or like, you know, about 30, yeah, about 38, 38.5K, and comes back and gets rejected, well, then guess what, guys? More downside. You know, that's exactly it. And, exact, and honestly, with the fucking digs wide popping off the way it is, I'm expecting, honestly, more downside for sure. Maybe it'll come up like this. Bang, 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 bang. You know? That's what I see possibly happening. Like I said, you know, okay, come back here, hit that shit, come back down here, bang, break below it, come back, boom, get rejected, boom, bang, down. Or if it's bullish, it'll go bang, bang, bop, above it, come back, retest that line, and then boom, back up, okay? So that's also possible because we have been going down for the past four months now. It's a long time of downside. Maybe we have a nice little pump. Like, you know, up to like 53 or something, almost at 60K, and then and then more downside. That's also very possible, guys. So, again, pay attention to that. And you know what? I think that's it. Everything else, the rest of the market, no need to show you guys. Look, Ethereum back to 25. They're all going to just chill. You know, basically, if Bitcoin's going to chill. So, there's no fucking point in shilling you guys any other coins. So, you know, I'm just going to show you the big ones. And that's it, guys. So, you know, unfortunately, sorry again. Be a bear, bad news, but that's what I see. I see more downside, especially for this weekend. I feel it's probably going to be a standstill this weekend. Usually it's been standstill. And then, like, Monday or Tuesday, something, some big move happened. So I expect possibly more standstill this weekend, just kind of like a stalemate type shit. And then, you know, and then we'll see what happens Monday. You know? Anyways, if you guys like this video, um, found it informative, give me a quick like. Takes two fucking seconds. Come on now. Don't fucking hurt. Come on. There you go. Give me a comment. Say what's up, fucking any fucking letters, whatever. I appreciate it. Like I said, any comment, I always appreciate it, guys. Help my video grow, even though it's taking a while, whatever. You know, helping a little bit. So I appreciate it, guys. So if you guys are new to this channel, be sure to subscribe, turn your notifications on. It's going to give you guys updates on the market, crypto, Bitcoin, every single day this year, 365. I'm going to check and keep up the charts so you guys don't have to. Just tune in and see what the fuck's going on. All right. Anyways, that's it, guys. This is all the king got today. I'm pretty tired, so I'm going to go rest. All right. Till next time, Crypto Kings out. Peace.